Hey everybody, Sir XDR here with GameRefusion.com and Power New Gaming. I wanted to apologize first that there's not going to be any commentary in this video besides for right here and possibly at the end. What had happened, I will explain myself. Well, what had happened is the TV was left on during my actual video. I did not realize it. It was left on in the living room. And the snowball actually picked up the TV all the way in there and it picked up the sound and everything pretty clearly. You can hear it almost over me. So I had to scrap the whole commentary and I'm just adding this here at the beginning and at the end. This is the last part of the walkthrough for Demonicon. I will have a review up for it possibly at the, probably at tomorrow, at the end of tomorrow. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this part of the walkthrough. I will see you at the end of it. Did you want to celebrate your victory by mocking me? Leave me in peace, Chiron. Azaril has met her match. Calandra will be a better leader, but this deplorable book will bring nothing but mischief. You should have destroyed it! The new church will be better than the old one. Accept that, Solace. You will regret it. Count on it. You defeated Azaril. The Awakened are free, and Borbarad's disciples with them. You can be proud of yourself, Chiron. Your magnanimity will be the stuff of legends. Even those who fall as low as Azaril show they but a noble spirit, and they may receive another chance. The High Prophetess has fallen! Long live the First Paladin! And with the new catechism shall the new church of Borborad march forth to triumph. Even the meanest of spirits will hear the master's word. Joyfully will they seek the first paladin's favor. Chiron, I am proud to lead you into this new era. In Morok Mountain will it come to pass. From seven will arise the first paladin. Let us go. Yes, it is time. And so Chiron left the monastery, his victory over Azaril complete. First did the demon Zulgaroth turn her own pact against her, and then did she prove to be no match for those she had used as tools. Borborad's church would survive, and the faithful would spread the new doctrine. The doctrine Chiron had conceived in the course of his bizarre visions in the monastery. Azaril's death had become meaningless, superfluous. In Zulgaroth, she and Chiron now had a common enemy. An enemy that knew how to use Calandra's ambition and her gift to open a gate into the realm of men. Chiron returned to Moloch Mountain in the company of the man he considered his father. Here the lovers would meet again. Here the final decision about Borborad's paladin would be made. The world trembles. Can you feel it, my son? The arrival of the first paladin is imminent. Calandra has already opened the gate. Azaril was right, she cannot control the demons. She is weak. Zulgaroth has made her his servant. He forced his will upon her. But now the gifts bring down the one who once created them. 
In the depths of Moloch Mountain, she awaits the unification. Zulgaroth could at any moment pass the Limbus Gate. I must go. Walk this road with pride, son. I wish I could go with you. But this is your road, and the moment of union should belong to you alone. Take this, it can help you. And perhaps one day, when you have become paladin and light of the world, it might remind you of me. Thank you, Sigal. I will not disappoint you. I know you're going to stop the demon. Be strong, my son.
You're not dead yet. Superb. I thought all that research to be in vain. Research? Based on the results of my previous analyses of your magic powers, I made a somewhat more intense study of Borberadianism. Summoning of the entity Zulgaroth in the Prios Temple. Influences of Alhanian banishment artifacts. Very interesting. I am sure that my conclusions would make your jaw drop in amazement. In all modesty, of course. You analyze me again, Magus. Most certainly. Filled with the fury of the researcher and legitimized by the merciless authority of science. You have too much time, Magus. Were you locked up again? Perhaps. But perhaps you can set aside your egocentric reservations for a moment. I mean, if you are interested in the relationships in magical theory, which could explain the appearance of a previously rarely known arch-demonic entity, or prevent... What makes you think that? Hyper-quantitative accumulation of demonic entities, no dex oriented localization, it doesn't take a genius to draw conclusions.
How hard is it to close a Limbus gate? It depends on the size. These things can grow once they are open. And if an entity worthy of being taken seriously wants to pass through it, they'll do all they can to keep the corresponding gate open. Only a different, equally powerful being would be able to... Hmm, counter that, and since the probability of such an intervention closely approaches zero, you will have to focus on the Limbus Gate itself. Massive discharge of temporal impensation, or as it is commonly called, Druid's Revenge. Conclusion, interspherical collapse of extraordinary dimension. What? Gather all of the power you can find. All of your spell power, vitality, strength of spirit, concentrate all of that on the Limbus Gate. And then, boom. You know of the merging of the demonic gifts? The first paladin. It's a shame that you, of all people, have been chosen. You've been such an interesting case study. Perhaps you can continue to study me. The Awakened no longer need to kill one another. You really believe that it will be that easy? That the Paladin will arise and that that which rumbles over there will withdraw in fear? I have never come across any demon worth mentioning that would have allowed a once promised soul to escape. You mean someone will have to sacrifice himself? I'm afraid so. The fundamental irony of vulgar Barbaradian preaching rhetoric. From the seven grows the paladin. His first great feat, he eliminates himself. Fabric for an ancient tragedy, if you ask me. But forget about that. I have to go now. As you wish. I wish you success, Chiron. Kick that impertinent astral parasite's ass. Chiron the Savior. I knew you'd come. The trap has sprung. Calandra will be pleased. Anyone who opposes me is Calandra's enemy as well. She ordered us to keep her free of all distractions. And you're the last person she wants to see now in the Pyramid, as she is opening the Limbus Gate. She understands that she has conferred too much responsibility upon you. Too much for your little mind. The very fact that you let Azarel live shows your weakness. She has you wrapped around her finger, and you haven't even noticed. On a whim, you decided thousands of free spirits were to follow your moronic catechism. You are pathetic and dispensable. You don't stand a chance, Solace. My decision was right, but you're too stuck in your little rut to understand that. I will crush you! Then let's get started. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Welcome to the Limbus. Let her go. Calunder's soul was never part of our deal. <laughs> Silence, mortal. I gifted you richly for your services. We are even. The girl fulfills the destiny I gave her when she was born. Borbara, or whomever she has thrown it away on, may have her soul. But your purpose is already fulfilled. I shall pass through her gift into the next era, and your world will accompany me.
He is weakened. Quick! We must close the gate. All right. I'll take your gift. Hold still. Calandra, wait. It's all my fault. I let myself be seduced. Don't stop me from making amends. You want to be the first paladin? Sacrifice yourself to throw Zulgaroth back. Chiron, I know you don't want me to sacrifice myself. You love me. It's true, I love you. I could not bear to lose you. And I know you feel the same way. However this may end, Chiron. Thank you. But today I know that neither gods nor demons can separate us, no matter if they surround us or seduce our minds. It's time for a decision. I will take your gift, and you will live on. You really want to give me this greatest of all gifts? We don't know what will happen when the first paladin arises. Maybe I'll survive. We've had a lot of bad luck up till now. Time to change that. You... Oh, you're a fool. Farewell, Chiron. I will always love you. Always. Hey guys, Slayer so here with GamingFusion.com. Just giving you real quick, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. This is the ending to the Dark Eyed Demonicon. Hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Have any questions, just send me an inbox or leave me a comment. Alright guys, thank you and have a good day. This is Slayer XTR signing out. <laughs>